Today we are traveling to Ghana to prepare these delicious yellow Ghana buns. One of those snacks that finished my coins while growing up in the early 90s. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to another interesting video. In a mixing bowl, I will add in instant yeast. To that, I added sugar and warm water. Always use warm water whenever you are making anything that has to do with yeast. It will help to activate the yeast. To that, I added egg. This is nutmeg powder. If you really want to get the taste of nutmeg powder, try to blend them by yourself. Buy the seed and blend by yourself. Next is turmeric. Please don't skip turmeric. Don't add artificial color. Add turmeric, all right? Stir to combine very well. Next, I am going to add little flour and mix to combine very well. At this point is to know how the color will be at the end of the frying. At this point, you have the chance to add more turmeric. If you notice that the color is not popping, but the color is already popping. Then I go in with the remaining flour, moving with my fingers and continue mixing. Thank you so much for watching today's video. To my returning subscribers, I appreciate you all. If you are new here, a warm welcome to you. Please subscribe to my channel. Also like and share this video with your loved ones. Alright, now that the dough has come together, I move it to the work surface and add soft margarine. Margarine contains salt, that's why I didn't add salt earlier. If you are using unsalted butter, feel free to add a pinch of salt. Continue to knead till you form a beautiful dough. Shout out to you, Amaka from Owere, Ruth Danjima from Nigeria, and the Nicholas Lamisu watching from Kenya. Aww, I'm glad you all love the recipe. Please let me know where you are watching from so I can give you a shout out in my next video. To all the Ghanaians in this building, I am saying to you, Akwaba. I hope I got that correct. <laughs> Don't report me to Wodemayao, alright? <laughs> Continue to knead till you form a beautiful dough just like this one. Look at the color. It is popping. The work of turmeric. I will brush the bowl with some oil and place back the dough into the bowl. This will make the dough not to stick to the bowl while proving. Cover with a kitchen towel and keep in a warm place to prove. Next, I will brush the baking pan with some oil. You can spray some flour if you wish, but I prefer oil. Do that and set the pan aside. 15 minutes later, voila, the dough has proven. Just look at that. The color is popping. Now I give the dough a very good knock. Take it out of the bowl and spread some flour on the work surface. Gently drop the dough on the work surface. Ah, look how soft that Ghana yellow cheek looks. OMG, this is how yours should be. This is the best texture for this recipe, all right? Knead again for a few seconds and then go ahead and cut into pieces that you'll be working with. Just look at that guy, the way it is shaking. If yours is not shaking that way, mm -mm -mm -mm. just know that you have mixed a point. To all the Ghanaians in the building, have you liked this video? Amaka, Ruth and Nicholas, have you also liked this video yet? What are you still waiting for? <laughs> like I said earlier, I cut into pieces that I'll be working with. Now, to fold, get one of the pieces, give it a little massage with your fingers just like I'm doing and gently fold. You need to follow this process, alright, so that you will achieve a perfect result at the end of your cooking, alright. Once you are done folding, seal properly another important part, please, seal properly, alright. Finally mold in a round shape just like I'm doing and there you have it. Look at that Ghana boy. Oh my goodness. We'll take that one more time. If you watch upon this minute, I appreciate you. It also means that you're enjoying this video. Please give this video a like. This video deserves a huge thumbs up. I don't know why you are so stingy. Come on. Once I'm done forming a ball with each of the dough, 
I will arrange them in the pan that I brushed with some oil earlier. Cover again and I allow to prove for the second time. Did you hear me? After 15 minutes, this is what we have. At this point, it is ready to be fried. Fried in a hot moderate oil. Amaka, are you hearing me? Fry in a hot moderate oil. As you can see, that oil is not bubbling. The oil is very calm. Listen to me. The oil is very calm as you can see on the video. This is very, very important. Secondly, if your dough is not floating on the oil, just know that you are frying Ozuma rock and you have not traveled to Ghana. <laughs> After about 30 seconds, flip the other side to cook as well. Once they are slightly yellow in color, it is ready. It does not take time to cook. This gets ready in a minute. Take them out of the hot oil, put in a strainer to drain out the excess oil, all right? Go ahead and repeat the same process with the remaining ones. Remember, if the oil is too hot, please reduce the heat, all right? And it's all done. Serve and enjoy. Oh, look at those beautiful ladies. If I am a man, I must marry from Ghana. Uh, their girls are so cute look at them oh my goodness i love ghana buns so much because of its softness this is one of those snacks that finish my coins while growing up i love it so much it is very soft and super delicious trust me when i say that my camera is not doing justice to the color of these buns I'm trying so much to capture the exact color, but it's obvious that my camera is dancing go go go. <laughs> if you haven't tested Ghana buns, then you have been missing a lot. Run into your kitchen and follow this process to prepare yours. And trust me, you won't regret you did. I have to leave some the next day just to get the exact color. And this is what the buns is looking like the next day. I didn't put it in the fridge. This is what it looks like. All right. I open it. Voila. Here we have the color. The original authentic Ghana buns. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.